All right, for this project, you're going to need a piece of paper, some scissors, a pen, and a piece of scrap cardboard from a cereal box or something like that. All right, and the first thing you want to do is you want to take a, your scrap piece of cardboard and you want to cut out a rhombus. A rhombus is that shape that looks kind of like a diamond. Okay, and you want to try to make it as perfect as you can. Okay, so there's my rhombus shape. Okay, so with your rhombus, what you want to do is right in the middle you want to put it sideways like this so the rhombus the long ones are pointing out on both sides and then you want to trace that so take your pen and you trace it down and you trace it over and you trace it over and you trace it over now if you're having a hard time making a rhombus that's perfectly straight try to find someone who can help you you really want to be as close to perfectly like that as you can. If you want to put your paper on the screen and trace it, you can. Okay, pause it and do that. Then what you want to do is take that rhombus and turn it to the side like this. And you want to have it going up and down like this. You put it the one side of the rhombus on the side like that and trace that down and over. And down. Now you, I only have to trace three sides on there because I've already traced the top side. And then I kind of flip it over this way, fit it in there, and now I don't have to do these two sides because I've already traced them one time. All I have to do on this one is trace it down and over like that. And I have a cube. That's a cube shape. Now I want to keep on going and keep on making more cubes. So I take my rhombus again. And I'm going to make the starting side of my next cube. So I put it on like this. And I trace it. And then I move it here. Trace it. Now I have my paper sideways like this. But if you want, you can have your paper tallways. It's up to you, whatever your decision is. And then I turn my rhombus this way. Okay, and see it uh, doesn't match up there at the bottom. That's okay though, because I'm only going to trace the top of this. Like this. So it's alright that the bottom doesn't match up perfectly, perfectly. So we're going to be tracing. Then you keep going. And you do the same thing over and over again. You go this way, and then you go down until you fill up the whole paper with cubes. All right, now I'm going to show you one more again. Just remember, if you've already drawn the line, you don't have to trace it again. So I'm going to do another one here. Put it on there. Don't have to do the lines I've already traced. Okay, and you can kind of see they line up right that way. And then I go this way. And these two I've already done, so I don't have to do those ones again. So I line it up here. And they're never going to line up perfectly. So I'm only going to do these two here on that side. And then this one, like this. Okay, and then there's a couple more on the bottom if you want to. And then you'll be ready to color it in. Alright, now I'm ready to color it in. Now one way you can color it in is if you pick one cube and take a color like a, like a crayon or a colored pencil. And you just start very lightly. So on one of them, you color it in very light. I'm pressing down very lightly with my colored, with my crayon here. Like that. Okay, then I want to press down on another side of my middle cube. I want to press down maybe a little bit darker. Pressing down a little bit darker here. Coloring this one in nice and neatly. Kind of stay inside my lines.
and then color this one in really dark. I'm going to press down really hard on this crayon. Now the way to do this if you have paints, if you're using like watercolor paint, then you just, it depends on how much water you have. So if you have a lot of water in the paint and, and you don't mix it up that much, that'll make a light part of that color like this. And then if you mix it up a little bit more, you'll get a little bit darker version of the color. And then if you mix it up the most, you'll get a thicker, darker version of the color and you'll put it in there. And you can mix too if you have crayons and colored pencils and, and paint then mix it up, okay? You can do one with crayons, one with colored pencils, one with markers. If you Okay, so I'm almost done. Only got a couple more to do. Um, if you want to color them that way, or you can color them each a uh, different color too. Okay, and now the way that I did it was that I did it light, middle, dark on each one. I tried to do a light, middle, dark, light, middle, dark, light, middle, dark on all of them. But you can do yours. If you want to do them rainbow colors, you can. Any way that you want. All right, and then take a photo and send it to me. All right, have a good time.